Hello everybody, it's Eva from the Tiger here again. Uh, today I would like to share with you a small project I made. Uh, as I am sorting my laptop and I already download <laughs> new software, now I am trying to make order in all videos I saved to my laptop. And I'm trying to make out of them some tutorials, <laughs> which I said I will do, but it's a huge mess in it. So it's it's going really slow. I found a few videos about this project. I made it, I don't know how long time ago. Uh, I just remember I've been kind of losing my mojo. And I didn't want to mess up with any, uh, any good papers. So I was thinking, oh, I, I want to do something, but I don't want to ruin my cra nice papers. So I choose to do project from book pages. And I think this is great uh, for beginners or if you are without any idea what to do, just um, oh, just practicing. <laughs> so I think it's it's best way to use uh, book pages. And for this project, it's great to use some good good quality book pages uh, i i been using this book because it has really good quality paper i think it's 120 maybe 160 grammage paper it's really good it's very heavy and it's great that it's very thick so I know I use this paper and for this cover because it's large and I used only one page. I used one page of uh, Atlas book. You know those uh, large school Atlas books? They've got mostly, they've got really great paper as well. So I used one of those papers which are on the end where it's just writing and there are just pages. So I, I used one of those papers. So I'm going to show you quickly what is it. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> it was very fast project. Even I did it all day. I remember because it was I don't know if it was when I've been working or if if it was weekend. But I did you know all that normal ruin. I cooked and I went out with my dog. But even that I did this project and it's really nice. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Always I forgot what I what I did. <laughs> it's like those pockets and here those tags. And everything is out of those book pages. So I believe it's great for some beginners. They can practicing all that scrapbooking. And then I used only a few metal embellishments those laces, this one, this craft yarn, or this fluffy yarn, I've got from D Black Cat Crafts, thank you D. can you see how it look, looks here, it's beautiful, it's just pop up all those tags, and here I used uh, one cameo, one uh, fabric flower which I made out of lace, one key, those corners, and those, I think, uh, definitely I did it, <laughs> those rosettes and they they will be from this book pages as well this is this side and here i used one cameo and those corners and i think it's look really pretty it's very quick project those tags are same every single one i decorated same you will see that in that video even i think i lost some of those videos from this <laughs> <laughs> you will see that so I'm, I'm going to let that uh, time lapse go and on the end of this video I will show you a few tips uh, for beginners if they don't have any dice how they can do those corners not those teeny tiny curves but how you can do from book pages or from any pa paper your corners and they will look good if if you are good in fussy cutting. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if I am good, but I will try to show you how you can do it. So have a look on my video and see you soon.
I hope you enjoyed a little bit that process video. Maybe you took some inspiration. Uh, before I will show you how to make from paper your own corners, like decoration. I'm going to show you how I made that cover for this mini mini. <laughs> I took only one page of that uh, Atlas Atlas book with the spring, uh, and because my tacks are wide uh, three three inches they are three inches wide and six inches long so I fold that book I think twice oh no I fold it one a little bit wider then is my tuck a bit wider, yeah, like it is. I took measurement from that tuck, you know, I didn't <laughs> I didn't uh, use any scoring tools, I just fold it. <laughs> it was just trying, you know, when you when you lost your mojo and, and you want to do something but you don't want uh, you don't know what to do. And then I fold it again. I fold it again and I cut that excess, you know, this excess I cut out, so when I glue it together I've got basic from like three pages and this paper is pretty thick, so it is strong, nice and strong, it's nearly like card, and then, then I used scoring tool because I need to score those lines I put my it's very easy way okay it's it's not professional but it's very easy you put your paper I will try to zoom it a little bit up to take all that paper can you see that yes you can see that you're going to take your tuck place it nearly in the middle Take all of them, okay, with pockets as well. I can't take it now because it's already glued. But if I will imagine that it's without this cover. I took all those tacks with uh, with pockets and I placed them here. <laughs> I score it here with rule, of course. I score it here. Then I took measurement how uh, deep, how deep are my tack with pockets. And I score it uh, same same size here. So I've got this side, and here I score it with this banding. You can do same like on this side, you know. But I made it like folder this way. It's half inch scoring all that way, half inch. It's very easy and it's not maybe professional but it's very easy and very relaxing <laughs> so this way I did that cover and of course I uh, did same process like uh, with papers I sprayed it with that blue color with a little bit with that gold and a little bit with tea dye uh, tea dye distress ink and then when it was dry I stamp it again Maybe you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. I stamp it. I distress all those edges. And then I decorate it. It's very easy way how you can do your uh, your cover. And now I'm going to show you <laughs> what I did before. I've got die cutting machine. <laughs> I try to make my own corners out of paper. And it's not too hard to make. Uh, you need... Uh, you need square paper and how large it depends how big uh, corner you want so now I'm using 4 by 4 inches paper just because I want to show you how to do it but if you will want to make corners like this of course not metal corners, paper corners like this not proper, yeah? <laughs> it will be not <laughs> so many <laughs> so many lovely curves. <sighs> Only if you will be so good in fussy cutting and you will do it. But I'm not too good. So you need a square paper 
fold it corner to corner this way one and now remember this is this will be your corner so fold it again oops now oops took a pen or a pencil and draw some uh, some design of your of your corner some uh, bubbles some curves some something nice what you will like to fussy cut out of this you can do this one but remember you have to fussy cut out of that paper okay don't swear after that <laughs> that you did something too much <laughs> like I did every single time <laughs> Like this, and here, short dot. You can do some um, holes here, of course. It will show you. I hope I'm <laughs> doing on the right side. <laughs> Maybe I should do it on the other side. It's possible that I'm <laughs> messed up now. <laughs> so, we're gonna try to fussy cut out. I'm horrible with fussy cutting, okay? E Oops la. Don't laugh to me. <laughs> I'm laughing myself. No, anything make you happy <laughs> to do it. <laughs> I'm not sure if fussy cutting make me happy. You know, when I'm watching Annie, she's Xenor One here on YouTube. I always feel a huge respect to this lady because she's just queen of fussy cutting. And I, I am totally, totally, um, how to say so, uh, adore of her work because uh, amazed of her work. You know what I mean. She is just awesome, really. I don't understand how she can do it. She? Uh, see? I can't. I can't do it. I am horrible. You. My sons are not here. <laughs> if they will be here, I'm going to shout them. They, they need to help mommy. <laughs> oh, did you see that hand of my, my youngest? He's horrible. And if you will hear him, those... Otherwise, is he... <laughs> He said, like, yes, this is the best. You have to use it. You have to, have to cover all the paper, you know, men. Yeah, he's al always making jokes. Oops. Oh, this video will be long, I think. He always making jokes, but I think they are glad that I found this crafting because I'm too calm now. <laughs> I'm very calm and I am very understand understandable mom. Is it possible to say it this way? Like I understand so many things and I not ignoring but I'm okay with so many <laughs> things now which I will be shouting before. Oops see we're nearly nearly there nearly there I'm just going to show you you need to play with this, but it's possible to make your own corners, especially if you like to fussy cut in. You know, you can make amazing things. And if, oops, if you have better hands than I've got on this, now, surprise, surprise. See, it's large, but it's corner. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad it's working. I was so scared. I, I told you different side, and you've got two similar corners. So this way you can do your corners, and that scrap. It's kind of 
embellishment as well. If you will fold it this way, see, and if you will place it on your tuck. Whoops, go on your side. You go on your side. I think it's look good. <laughs> This is my tip for beginners or for people who don't have yet some uh, cutting machine. It's it's easy way how you can do your embellishment or your corners, kind of corners. So this is, uh, I think, this is all for today. I'm going to try make order in my, in my videos again. Have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all kind. Uh, amazing comments. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye!